How do you traverse a flooded road or navigate a river with unstable ice to rescue people stranded by a natural disaster? In this design challenge, inspired by the 2019 Tech Challenge, No Roads, No Problem, learners explore aerodynamics and stability as they create a device that can hover in a wind tube, simulating hovercraft design. To get started, you will need a simple wind tunnel that can be constructed using a box fan, plastic sheeting, and other low-cost, easy-to-find materials. Then, collect and organize materials for learners to build their devices. We recommend a variety of structural materials, such as corks or craft sticks, flexible materials that provide surface area, like foil, coffee filters, and fabric scraps, and connectors, such as rubber bands, pipe cleaners, and paper clips. When your session starts, frame the challenge for your learners and provide the criteria and constraints for the first build. Today we are going to create devices that can float over different terrains. Your first challenge is to create a hovercraft that floats up and out of the wind tube. Your devices must be able to fit inside the wind tunnel test rig, both the opening and the tube itself. You'll have 10 minutes to build. Remember to test your device, even if partially built and you can test the different materials during the build time. Is everyone ready? All right, let's build. As the learners begin to build, encourage them to test individual materials and their device often to see how they react in the tube, even if their device is only partially built. Ask them questions that encourage examination of the effect of airflow on their devices. So what did you notice while you were testing? Um. I noticed that it, it, it wasn't stable. So what might you try from the materials? Um, maybe a square shape and weights on the edges. So it's a lot lighter in the middle. So it starts going up there instead of going up on the side and flipping over. Once teams have had time to build and test their devices, allow teams to share their designs communicating their process and the reasoning behind their design, and then allow teams to demonstrate their devices for the whole class. After learners build, test, reflect, and share about their first designs, push teams to iterate with the second challenge. Now that you have seen how the air can push your devices out of the tube, your second challenge is to see if you can design a device that hovers within the wind tube. A little trickier. As before, we will test and share out. You'll have 15 minutes to build. Go ahead and start. You and your learners will be inspired by their creativity and persistence and ready for the next challenge. For more design challenges and other resources, visit the tech.org slash Bowers Institute.